name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're talking about my February favorites. Since it is February, I feel like I have less favorites than normal and I feel like that might just be because it's a shorter month. Um, so we're just gonna get into it. I have about six things to show you guys today. My very first favorite of this month is my new car. I had my old car for 10 years and it just got to that point where my husband and I are thinking of eventually starting a family. We both had very small cars and so we decided that we probably needed a better one to use and we went car shopping. It was our first time doing the actual car shopping experience. It was not the best experience completely. We had some issues with one of the people at the dealership. However, we did end up walking away with a great car. We ended up with a 2018 Ford Escape in blue, which is my favorite color. It drives so smoothly. It is so nice. It is the perfect size for what will be our family. Um, it's not too big. It's actually a very compact SUV size. Um, the one thing I really like about it right now is we go and visit my grandmother every weekend and it's that perfect size where she actually doesn't have to step up into the car, but she also doesn't have to try and crouch down really like when she tries to get into our smaller cars. This is like exactly the perfect height and I love it. It is a little bit more, I guess, technologically advanced than I'm used to. Has the blue tooth for the phone and everything, but I love it so much. My next favorite sort of goes hand in hand with the new car. It is a brand new car air freshener. I don't always like some of the scents that you can get from normal car air fresheners, especially like vanilla. I don't like anything that's scented vanilla. I'm very particular about the kind of scents that I like. Right now I've been absolutely loving anything with cedar wood in it. So what we ended up doing is I went on Amazon, so I'll link it down below, but this is a, I guess, reusable air freshener that you can open it up and it has a like felt pad in there. They did come with extras, which I have here. They're even like different colors, very fun. But you put essential oil in there. So at my house, my husband and I absolutely love the air diffusers. We have one in our room, the guest room, and in our main living room at the front of the house that is huge, so it definitely fills the air up with scent. So I have been using this scent. It is called Serenity. It has clove bud, coriander, and cedar wood. It smells absolutely amazing. I just put around eight or nine drops on the felt pad. It's one of those um, backs where you can just hook it straight into the car uh, air conditioning, and it's good to go. It makes my car smell amazing. The next favorite I have for this month is some Ikea shelves. I will insert a clip here. I was getting a little overcrowded on my shelves for my pop collection. And so the thing that we decided to do was to get some semi-inexpensive shelves and put them up to put the pops on. We got the Ekby shelves from Ikea. I'll also link those down below. I think they look absolutely amazing. I now have a little bit of extra room with my pops that I can use for when I get other ones and I just love them so much. My husband and I spent the time to put them up. He put the shelves up. I put the pops up and I love the look of this room so much more. The next thing that I have been loving this month, and I know I'm late to the game on this, but that is the TV show Riverdale. I watched the first season on Netflix, uh, started in late January, but finished pretty much all of it in February. I have heard some good things and some bad things about it. I know it has almost sort of a cult following, um, but it is a little bit cheesy. It's definitely one of those like teenage drama shows, but I love most of the actors in there. I do think they ended the first season on a very interesting note, and I'm very interested to see what the second season has in store. I love Cole Sprouse. I have watched him in so many things. Like, I remember seeing him on Friends and in Big Daddy with Adam Sandler, and so... 
I absolutely love seeing how he's grown. I feel almost like I've watched a kid grow up and so it's amazing. I really like this show. It's the typical teen drama, but it's addicting and so I cannot wait till the second season ends up on Netflix because of the fact that I don't have cable, so I have to wait for these things sometimes. Another favorite that I have been loving for a few months now, actually, is this Revlon uh, Matte Lipstick. This is their uh, Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, and this one is in Embrace. I actually have worn this on my engagement photo shoot, at my wedding, and now at my Trash the Dress photo shoot, which we just did this past weekend. I will have a video up on that soon, uh, as soon as we get some pictures back. But I love this. It does transfer a little bit, and so I always have to end up wiping it off my husband's face. But the color is gorgeous. It actually stays on my lips. Like, even though it transfers, it doesn't fade. And so it stays on my lips the entire time. And it is just one of those ones I think I got it for maybe between $10 to $12, so relatively inexpensive for a matte lipstick. It smells like cookies when you put it on, and this color is just perfect for me. They had tons of other ones, but I have a really hard time finding the perfect lipstick sometimes. I just am very picky about the color I put on my lips. I feel like some of them wash me out too much, whereas others are too dark for me. So this has been my go-to lipstick for anything as a major event, and I love it. And then I have also been loving Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. This is an adult cooperative deck building game that deals with Harry Potter and Hogwarts. I absolutely love this. We have played this a couple times with a couple different friends. And I feel it's very unique, at least for me, in the fact that there are actually seven games in this one pack. And it's pretty much because you're going through the seven years of school with Harry Potter and his friends. This is a game that you can play with up to four people. So you can play as Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Neville. And you are doing it cooperatively. So you don't have to worry about beating your friends or anything like that, you either all win or you all lose. It is very, very interesting because of the fact that there are seven games. So everything gets a little bit harder as it goes, but you also get to see the characters that you're playing as get a little bit more powerful. Everything becomes a little bit more complex. We have won some of these games. We have lost some and then had to replay them. Some of it is luck based on the decks that you're using because you just shuffle and see what you get. Um, we played, oh my gosh, almost 11 hours for this and we got to the seventh game and we ended up losing. So we are gonna have to come back to this. I feel that there is a lot of replay value on it and I love it so much. I will insert some clips of the play as well because it is very intense uh, and it's amazing. Gain uh, one attack from Incendio, which I put there, and I draw another card. We're killing. Which is Dittany, like no so I can heal someone for three. No one needs it, so why- But pick somebody. You, you- No. no. But then he, he would get to draw a card if he, he gets healed for three. Yeah, so he gets healed for three and he gets to draw a card. Okay, just put it in his hand. Oh, yeah. And That's my, a good card. My last one is a Mandrake, so got a card. I can, I can he doesn't have any allies, gain though. another attack. So that's four. So I'm going to kill oh. him. He's dead. And then I'm just going to put this out there. My last favorite of this month is my dog, Pippin. I gave him a haircut earlier today, and he was a trooper. He hates it when I do that. But he is a cute little Pomeranian. He is around seven years old, and... I just love him so much. You probably can hear a little bit of barking in almost every single video I do, and that's because normally he wants to be on my lap at all times, and so when I film videos, he has to either go outside or into another room. Uh, he doesn't like to be away from me for that long, so let's let him in the video with me. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what are some of the things you've been loving this month. I will have a new video up on Monday, so I will see you then. Bye!